What's up, my super fans? My name is Remy Kiwi Bo, and today is another TNT episode. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how I actually repaint the faces, especially the one that you saw me get rid of the face paint in the previous episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and let's get right into the pa doll repainting. That's the word. So, welcome to the temporary workstation until I get my camcorder. This is, as you remember, is the doll that I repainted before. Well, not repainted before. <laughs> Those are words, people. Those are words. But, this is a doll I actually stripped um, last episode. But, as you can see, I've done some kind of little adjustments. When I mean adjustments, I mean I've green stuffed. Uh, there's still more green stuff to do on her, but I thought I would get right into repainting. So, the equipment I use to repaint is some paint brushes. Now this is also a good opportunity to just show you what paint I use actually. I think I answered this in a previous um, Q&A, but I shall actually show you what paint I'll be actually using today. So let's put her back. I'll be using... Abaddon Black, White Scar, Temple Guard Blue, Mood Green, and my favourite, Blood for the Blood God. So these are the paints I'll be using. Um, also, I'm going to show you what brushes I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using uh, 3.0. Brush, which I think it will be cast as a standard brush. I'll be using a 10.0, and I also I will also be using a 5.0. So, without further ado, let's get right into the doll painting. So, let's just put my colours out the way, and our first colour we'll be starting with with is Avadon Black on. A very fine detail brush. So let's shake this up. Shaking into into da 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 da. Right. Right. So as you can see, I have um, kind of penned out where I'm going to be actually paint. Oh right. By the way, don't mind this thing. I will be putting a piercing on her for the next episode, which I'll be teaching you how I do piercings. So. Get some product on my brush. Not much, just just the slight. So I will do the outline of her eyeliner first, because then the white will be a little bit easier to do. So, oops. So now I've got that bottom. I'm covered, so now I go to the top. And let's just say that eyeliner is very hard to do on a doll. So now we've got that little bit out of the way. We get more product on my brush. And then just finish the um, eyeliner off. There you go. So now once that dries, let's just turn my door around, and we'll do the other eye. Oh, the, the one thing I forgot to ask you guys in the previous episode is, how are you finding this camera, actually, it's actually better to be doing it on this one, how are you finding this camera angle? Is it okay, or is it kind of, um, or would you prefer a new angle? or like stuff like that just let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this angle so wow you wow um i you watch me carefully repaint this eye well the eyeliner of this eye which actually i'm nearly finished so right so we're going to wait for this to dry, and I will be back in a minute. Right, so, 
one eye is dry so we'll put the black away for the time being and we're gonna go on to Sermate White on a uh, 5.0 brush so let's give this a shake right click now this is the worst part I feel of repainting a doll because again white's very difficult to for me white's very difficult to get a pink but let's see now I'm gonna carefully go just outside the lines of her eye so we can get that white pupil in try to use very thin coats of this and I know it's such a big trouble trying to get this opaque but the results are amazing either way so once you got that the other side of her eyes will be dry so and then we'll just do the whites on her other eye now what I normally do is I normally use just a little bit of well just like the rest of what I had in my brush for the repaint well for the other eye and I just take a tiny little bit each time so I don't go overboard with it but you just kind of cover everything so everything is nice and covered And so, we'll wait for this to dry, and I will see you in the next bit where we do the second layer of the white. So, the white layer of paint is dry, so now we are going to go on to the second coat, which I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this one from the um, Warhammer veterans and I'm gonna water this layer down and then go back in very nicely and oh my god it does work I should listen to you guys more so we're gonna go in for another layer I mean it doesn't I mean it doesn't dry as quickly as I, th I mean it doesn't dry as slowly as I thought it would do is that it actually dries relatively quite nicely and cleanly. I mean, that was just me being stubborn of, oh, I don't need to thin my paints down. But, this would give a cleaner result. And it does. And it does, so we're going to do the other side. So that's pretty opaque to me. I am going to probably go over it with another layer just to make it completely opaque so yeah so you're pretty much you guys are pretty much watching this is actually, just, just a um, clarification, I actually don't normally plan repainting these dolls. I don't plan what they're actually going to look like, I just do it. And as you can probably tell, it comes out quite well, surprisingly. But, no, again, I should really listen to you guys more. But hazy hose. So now we're gonna put this brush, this away. I used one non-thin down coat and then two thin coats, which down coats, which worked out pretty well. At this working well, pretty well. So the other side is dry. So so this this side is dry. So now we're gonna go in with our temple guard blue. Give this a shake. Mm. We're going to go in with our temple guard blue, which is a nice bright blue. What am I talking about? Most of you guys know what temple guard blue looks like. 
So I'm just gonna take it on my 5.0 brush and I'm just gonna make a pupil. Well, not pupil, I am iris. Just very, very, very carefully. And round well shape done. Actually, that was pretty awesome, actually. I'm gonna make her look a little bit more to the sides supposed to straight on a little bit more on the outer one so as you can see that's one people done but this is Frankie we're talking about and for once I want to I want to repaint her, her eyes so they are kind of there to the original character so turn to the other side put that color away and we're gonna go straight in with mood green so Give this a shake. Right, so put that there. Right, so same thing, but we're going more towards the inner corner of the eye opposed to the outer corner. I'm just gonna make a couple of marks here and here and here and here and here so we know where we're going. And just slowly. So yeah, I mean slowly. There you go. We actually have to grab more paint on this. And so, I actually, um, I don't know if I actually paused this earlier, but um, I was actually saying to Kujahira, now I'll do one thick coat and then two thinned out coats. And my phone vibrated. I don't know if you guys can actually hear that vibration. There's somebody uploading a video. But I know she looks really wide eyed now, but I will be fixing that in the moment. So, as you can see, we have one blue eye, one green eye. What we'll do is we will wait for that to dry, which again should be long. I mean, the blue's already dried. So we could kind of continue without pausing the video. Which is good news on me. So, oh, by the way, if you're wondering now how I clean my paints, my paint brushes, um, you guys are gonna actually probably throw a tantrum and probably not like me. I'm using acetone. So again, don't hate me. It's all it's all that I have in mind and it works. So, so now we take the blue. Yeah. Actually, this is more of a different angle of how I paint my dolls here because I'll be painting this eye green and then the other eye, you know, blue and such. So, I'm going to get a little blob of blue. Just a little blob. As you can see, I'm using my finger as a um, palette. why not it's there and I can use it so now we have that thing down I am going to now make this side more opaque actually this might not actually need a um, third coat yeah that that actually might not need a third coat which is quite awesome even on me so so now while we wait for the blue to dry we're gonna put the blue away and I'm gonna actually improve more onto the green side so we're just gonna put a little bit more down at the bottom and then spread it out a little bit so I'm just gonna get a little, a little chunk of green in there. Just onto my brush piece. Damn it, Raz! I blame Dark Light Dreamer. If you hear me say face piece a lot, if you go and watch um, Dark Light Dreamer in his last face, you'll realize that he says that. And it, it has taken over my life. So now I've started saying it in my videos, so... <laughs> it's a curse, but a gift at the same time. 
So, again, the other eye will be nicely dry by now. This is where it gets interesting. So, as I said to you guys a little earlier, it looks weird now, but this is where, yeah, it's where my the Abaddon Black comes back in, and he's got more of this stuff. Eh. And then take a little piece. I'm not gonna do as much. So pretty much, what I would do is let me just put the doll down a bit. Is I take it and I go from not the sharpest edge. What I do is I take it and I just run it through the eyeballs, the eye pieces, and just pretty much make a lid. So again, it doesn't look bizarre, and it doesn't look like she's just staring into your soul like her. So, let's just turn it all around so you can see <laughs> the same thing. Pretty much just do the same thing on the other side. Go from, don't go from the inner corner. So like right here. Go from like there, so like, there. So then it doesn't look too odd. But what we are doing, so now she has lids. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it have pupils. So this is the simple part where you go meow. and just fill that in like so. And then if you want the pupil just to be bigger. I like to uh, kind of like put a line here until I want it to stop like that and then go from there where boom there we go so now that's one pupil done and nearly done with the eyeball itself let me just clean my brush up so it's nice and clean. Now we're going to do the other side. And we're going to try and make this match as nicely as possible. Let me give it a minute. Just fold this in. There we go. And then just do the same thing. Like so. And yes, I do do those sound effects on a normal repainting day because it's fun and I like doing it. And this people is a lot bigger than the other one, so let's just fix that. Probably once this black bit dries, what I do is I will make the iris a little bit bigger, but you guys get the gist. So, now we have the main pupils done. Now we're gonna have fun. Now you guys know that there is a specific color, well, technical paint that I like to use. I'm gonna use it on this big piece of a brush, which is a 3, 3.0, and I'm gonna use this color, which is amazing, which is called Blood for the Blood God. So, Sorry, texting. <laughs> we should text you in a video. But hey ho, oh, some things just need to be said. <laughs> Right, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a big chunk of this nice, nice stuff. Pretty much, as you can see, these little divots. Just gotta pull this whole little bit here. This whole little bit here. Let's go. Why is it more white? Strange. Just gotta fill this in. Put this in with blood. 
and we're gonna fill this top back here with just don't be afraid to make this very unclean but make this very messy because blood is messy so as you can see blood for the blood god kind of takes a little bit more time to dry but it's where you can get real fancy with this and kind of do little drops going down from the face from the face piece Make sure you really get that detail because not everything is going to be clean and pristine on dolls, especially when you're doing horror kind of things. Just just go ham. Pretty much in this little bit, just go ham. Just just go ham. Just, 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 yeah. Oh, I forgot a little piece. I'm going to just take a big dot up and just go like so. And I like to use a bigger brush for this, because then I can get more product onto my brush. You go. Again, okay, this is what I like to call like kind of control drops. So, I just do the same thing with this one. I just go, I pull up. I'm probably not the only person that actually pulls up. On blood for the blood club, but again, don't don't be afraid to make it neat. Because again, it's blood. Why why would blood be neat? Uh, have you have you ever seen like a singular drop of blood just running down? No, I didn't think so. Just just go ham. Let's go about just go ham. Like that. Like that. Yep. Yep. Right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a little bit of black, kind of make it more oxidized. Just, just a little bit of black just to make it a little bit more deeper in some places and a little bit more oxidized and grossly disgusting and just make it like a horror show just just make just make that son of a bitch bleh pretty much it's the only one I can think of at the moment so bear with me just just Make that as oxidized as you can and gross as you can possibly make it. If you need a little help with kind of making blood look oxidized, I mean, this is a kind of like a simplest tutorial, simple tutorial. It's just put a little black while you're using blood for the blood color. It makes it look more dried up and there for a while and bleh, And crap. As you can see, it looks more horror. Or horroristic, as I like to say. Horroristic! New word. So just gonna do the same thing over here. Make it more ick and oxidize and blur and split and. Pfft. I really get more into like the middle of the cut as opposed to the sides. So, now what we're gonna do is I need to get another. I need to get another cutter out of my little. Um, Pot because it's lipstick time which means we need our detail brush we need to get our zip 5.0 and just this is the old one I don't need this one mark new paint for you and he's not listening <laughs> it's fine right I'm gonna get some nice Right red, I'm gonna use Evil Sun Scarlet. And just paint that ruby red. You can kinda of see where her lip line is. But you can change the lip line, which is what I'm gonna do now. So you see. And remember to fill in this little gap here because then it's not going to look as good as you want it to because there will they'll just be like a greenish dot thing and again if you want to make anything kind of darker just, just mix in a little bit of black that normally helps me but I think we are finished with this particular doll so I 
yeah, she, you, we call everything. So, oh, before we go, I need to do a couple bits on her. So, because I need to make her iris a little bit nicer looking. Before I do my little finishing touches with her. Just putting some more blue on her iris. There you go, right. So now it's time for the finishing touches. Which is doing her highlights. So I've got my white scar here. I'm just going to do... Drink. Drink. Just put kind of like iron here. Dink, dink. And do. A little bit of white highlight on her lip. And we have highlighted. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Let's get the dancey hands into the face. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. She enjoyed having a face again. <laughs> Um, so, I hope you guys like the, this um, YouTube series. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And I'll see you... Oh yeah. Hit that like button if you like it. Comment down below. See if there's any tips that you want me to share with me. And also, if you like what you see, subscribe down below. So we can see more of this and dancing hands and stuff. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!